We're here at CES 2020 taking a look at the Audi Ami concept. Audi's vision for an urban city vehicle of the future. Now it's fully electric and designed around car sharing. Now the things you need to know about the powertrain are pretty simple because they're not really the point of this exercise. The powertrain is a 168 horsepower electric motor mounted at the rear axle and there's a 65 kilowatt hour electric battery that's running that system. Now range hasn't really been specified because Audi doesn't really think that's the point of a vehicle like this. Being designed as a car share vehicle, the person who's in it doesn't actually own the battery anyway and you're only going to be in it for short periods of time. Rather, the vehicle is designed to be a sort of urban refuge, a place that you can seek solace as you creep through stop and go traffic on your way home. And the vehicle is designed around that. From nose to tail, it's shorter than an Audi A3, but it's got a wheelbase that's about the same as the A4, which means that this thing is basically all cabin. And when you're talking about headroom, we've got more vertical space here than in the Audi Q3 SUV. Now, the vehicle itself is designed around autonomous driving. So at the front, we've got lights that communicate with passengers and the same at the rear. And there are 360 cameras all around that are sensing the environment. During our demonstration today, those cameras are looking at these sort of boxy QR codes around the area to sense the environment, but the actual vehicle won't need those. The cabin itself is built around sort of like a three stack paradigm. At the bottom, you've got this sort of natural area with these uh, cloth seats, cloth door panels, lots of places to put your phone and whatnot when you get in the car. Just above that, there is the sort of tech layer, which is where you'll find a large wraparound OLED display with three-dimensional graphics. And you're going to interact with that with a combination of eye tracking and touch-sensitive panels on the doors here. Just above you now, we've got this sort of big open airy cabin that's going to really make this spacious vehicle feel more spacious. We've got open pour wood along the top and around the vehicle you'll also find real plants that are going to help purify the air alongside the actual onboard air purifiers. One of the coolest things about this vehicle is because it's designed to basically creep through stop and go traffic, it is level 4 autonomous. There's a steering wheel that pops out here when you want to steer it yourself, but when you go into autonomous mode, it retracts into the dashboard, giving us this sort of table like we've got here. And there are magnets built into these tables. We saw at the Shanghai show that you can do things like put cups on here and they'll hold into place while you're driving and you don't have to worry about them jostling loose. And while you're creeping through stop and go traffic, maybe you don't want to just look at the road around you. And that's why there's VR technology built in. We got a demonstration of that earlier as well. And it's really interesting the way that they use the motion of the vehicle to work with the VR in the virtual reality headset to reduce motion sickness. What I'm seeing is a mountain range that I'm flying above and I'm moving through it. And there is an animated dragon flying in front of me. And as the car turns, my field of view turns as well. And as we move forward, we move forward through the virtual reality. And I think that is probably going to help a little bit with the motion sickness that I thought you might get with virtual reality, because what's happening outside of the vehicle is being reflected inside of VR. Uh, but it's a lot nicer looking in here than the uh, rooftop parking lot that the car is actually driving through right now. Now there are no plans to actually build a vehicle like this just yet, but of the four Audi AI concept that they've already debuted, this one looks the most production ready. Be sure to check out the rest of our coverage of CES 2020 for even more cool electric vehicles and autonomous rides like this. You're not going to want to miss a thing.